Welcome back everybody. We've reported many times about the national lifeguard shortage and Western New York is not immune. The YMCA is one of the places offering training. Two on your side's Kelly Dudzik got an update today as many pools get ready to open for the summer. We're still seeing some struggles in the community with how COVID impacted us. You know, for example, the West Seneca Town Pool, you know, they just decided uh, recently that they were unable to open the pool just due to a shortage of lifeguards. Now that COVID restrictions are lifted, the South Towns Family YMCA is in the middle of its fifth lifeguard course of the year. Vincent Riddle is the aquatics director there. He says they're finding the average age for people taking the lifeguard courses is a bit on the lower end right now, which he sees as a sign the job is being revitalized as one teens are looking forward to. I think being a lifeguard, it's a great opportunity, one, to have a nice gig, but it develops a lot of leadership traits. I find that it's a good stepping stone into future careers. I've had several nurses go through my programs and you know, staying on top of monthly trainings with CPR it has a direct correlation with what their future ambitions and endeavors are. In New York State, the lifeguarding credential is good for two years. Before you sign up for the American Red Cross course, you should know that there are some skills you need. 300 yard continuous swim using front crawl, breaststroke or a combination of both. There's a two minute tread using legs only. And then there's also a timed event with the brick where you need to surface swim for 20 yards dive down between seven to 10 feet of water. And then as you're kicking on your back, you have to hold a brick with two hands. As far as the pools here in Buffalo go, they are still finalizing their plans. They told me that they hope to open some of them July 1st, but it all depends upon the lifeguard situation. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.